Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone welcome back to my channel Shamsa Arawelo I hope you guys are doing amazing as per usual better than me I hope I have not had the best uh, week um, or the previous weekend and I want to speak about that today because it has really caused me a lot of distress and just my anxiety is up and I haven't been sleeping and I haven't been myself lately and haven't you know made much videos or people might have noticed I'm not really interacting um, as much as I used to and there's a reason for that and today I want to share that okay and I have made th three or four previous videos on the same topic but whoo I'm just I get over emotional about it so I thought why not do it today since I'm feeling a little better you know you know um this incident took place on Friday but I want to put some context to the story I'm about to tell you so originally I'm from London yeah but I moved to Lancashire in November 2015 and I live in a small town in Lancashire called Burnley and if you all have not heard about Burnley let me tell you for free okay without charge sahib do you know when the uh, Black Lives Matter protest was were take, was taking place it was Burnley that ended up on the news not in support of Black Lives Matter in fact they decided it was a good idea to put a massive a banner at the back of a helicopter which said uh, white lives matter and waved it around Burnley made it to the news congratulations uh, made it to social media pictures were taken um, they were very apologetic but I'm like you know what I'm not really surprised because living in this town you I've quickly realized, yo, I grew up in London, okay? I didn't know what the fuck racism was apart from what I was being taught, okay? When I tell y'all, yeah, I have never been called the N-word by a white person. I have never experienced any type of racial discrimination, prejudice in London. None of that. Never experienced it. When I came here, I realized, yo, this is, this is just like, wow, wow. If that uh, uh, display that they put on using that helicopter doesn't show you how racist this town is and still is, yeah, they say it with chess, bro. I'll tell you an incident. There was, a, I worked for a care home in Burnley and there was a 21 year old girl and me and my friend were the only black people working there. I think at the time there was an Asian woman who was just leaving. So we were the only uh, colored people. So anyway, this girl comes to me and we're in the kitchen and she goes, oh, can I ask you a question? And I'm like, okay, girl, go for it. And she's like, oh, um, where are you from? And I knew she didn't know where Somalia was. So I was like, I am from Africa. And she goes, oh, okay. Uh, is it is it where, do you know them starving kids with their rib cages showing? Um, is that where you're from? I'm like, I, I said, girl, there's poor people everywhere there's kids sh uh, who, who their ribcage is showing in the uk in, in in everywhere in the world like it's not exclusive to africa so she's like is are you were you ever one of them i was like if you're asking me if i was ever poor yes and even in this country and then she goes oh, do you guys um ride elephants i'm like no girl no and I was like, just to, <laughs> just to take the piss. I was like, no, but we ride donkeys. Hella fun. And she was like, oh my God, really? Yes. No. Not for work. Not for fun. 
So she's like, oh, okay. Just asking dumb questions after dumb questions. Like, they don't, they've never seen Africa. I'm like, have you not, do you not have geography here? Have you not learnt? Like, what do they teach you? They come to find out at my daughter's school, they don't teach black history, minority history, none of that. None of that. So I asked why. And she was like, the head teacher said to me that it was going to be put on the uh, curriculum. Why is it? It's 2021. Why the hell is my black child being taught whitewashed history? And not even a consideration for black history. Like my daughter, oh, what, you're telling me that my daughter will never see anyone that looks like her being taught like in history. Like that just doesn't sit well with me. And I have expressed this and I'm just going to, I'm just being told, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's not happening. And that's one thing that needs to change. Black history needs to be in every single curriculum and at, at every single school in the fucking UK. And minority history. Point blank period. Anyway, let me to get to the story. On the 23rd, on Friday, I was at home and we had a good day. It was really hot. So me and my daughter went to bed. She went to bed first, I went to bed after uh, a little later. And it was really hot, so I, my window was wide open. Um, I was, um, my daughter was sleeping right next to me. And I only had the duvet uh, cover sheet on top of me because it was so fucking hot. My curtains uh, were open so that I could let the air in. But why is it at a ridiculous time in the morning? I don't even know what time it was. I start hear, hearing a drill. And I'm like, and a massive like boom, boom, boom. And I'm think I'm tossing and turning because there's construction on uh, my neighbors on my left and there's uh, construction on, with my neighbors on the right. So I just assumed, that what the fuck kind of time is this to start hammering shit, right? And then I hear a drill. And then I'm tossing and I'm turning. And then let me tell you, my worst nightmare, my worst fear living in this town is uh, having my house broken into. So I sleep. And I'm not ashamed of it. I sleep with some sort of weapon, whether it's a hammer, something that I can protect myself because I'm a lone parent. I'm scared enough is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. So... I'm tossing and turning, tossing, and then I came to the realization that this bang, bang, boom, boom is coming from my motherfucking house. Yo, when I tell you my heart, I, I feel, well, I, I feel like I had an out of body experience. Trying to figure, and then I realized I'm the type of bitch that when she gets scared, all frame of thought, it flies out of the window. I don't know why. So anyway, scared the fuck out of me. I got the duvet, uh, the cover that I was um, that I had on top of me, put it around me because I didn't have time to fucking get dressed, bro. My house is being broken into, right? That day is the day that I decided not to sleep with a knife. Ilahi ya Rabbi Rahman was trying to tell me something. Was trying to save me motherfucking life. I think I don't. I don't know. Anyway, I come downstairs. Yeah, my dining room is here. On my dining room is a a, a a spray. Do you know one of them long spray air fresheners? Yeah. Why did I pick it up? I picked it up with my thing and trying to cover myself as much as I can. And then I come to, to, through this, this door right here. Come in here. Wallahi billahi. I'm stood legit where this camera is aligned to, to the end of the sofa. I look at the window and my curtains are open like this much. And I see somebody like, I don't know what the fuck they were doing, but they were looking through. Oh. And then I realized it's a, girl, it's, a, it's a white woman. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? And I'm holding and I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? And I'm panicking because she stood there and, and my fucking door is being drilled in. 
So I'm like, this is a tag team. This is my life is over. Like, what the fuck am I going to do? How am I going to fight? I'm holding a fucking spray. And thank you all so much. So, 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 so much for your support. We got to 3,000, 3,100 subscribers. And you, I cannot thank you enough for your support because this is more than I have ever had. So I am truly grateful. Thank you all so much.